This pattern on Bitcoin tells all. Hey guys, what's going on? Jab here, and in today's video, we have some very important technical analysis to do because in this last video before our Christmas break, I want to go ahead and show you a very interesting similarity between this bull market and the bull market of 2019. In fact, there are so many similarities between both of these bull markets that I think it warrants a like on the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. This is going to be a good one. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to follow us at CryptoJab on Instagram and Twitter. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Guys, Bitcoin has gone through several bull markets in its long history. The most recent one at the current time, resulting in a 500% return in the last 300 days. But there's something you have to understand about Bitcoin and its market, and that is that it tends to be pretty cyclical, meaning that the market will do the same thing time and time and time again. And this is true for the bull market of 2019 and the bull market of 2020. Take notice of something. Notice how this market appears to have some sort of stair step formation that it's following. We see the exact same thing happen back here in 2019, just like this. The key takeaway of this rally is that Bitcoin stopped at $13,700 and went into a bear market to follow. Well, as you guys can see, in 2019, we had one step a second step, and then the third leg up was the top. I would postulate that this rally that we are in right now has one step there, another step right here, and we are on the third leg now. Does that mean that we're about to have the top hit and are we about to correct? This sounds crazy, but bear with me. I promise you're going to understand. Let's analyze the 2019 bull market to start with. I'm going to call the beginning of this bull market right here on February the 7th, 2019, with this little 10% movement right there from $3,300 to $3,600. During that bull market, we had one, two, three main phases of expansion. The first one resulted in about a 65% return over the course of 70 odd days to about $5,500. From there, we saw another major phase of expansion that lasted about 35 days. Notice that was about half as long as the first one and it resulted in about an 80% return. Following we see a larger rally this time instead of 80% it's 86% and it happens in almost half the time not 35 days but 20. Now let's look at this market over here. We see from the bottom to the top right here Bitcoin rallied 214% in 157 days. From this bottom to this top right here we rallied about half as far but we did it twice as fast. Now this rally which is ongoing we've already rallied 34% in just about a week. So let's dig a little deeper in this because I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying the numbers are exactly the same. Bitcoin has rallied farther, but it's taken longer in this bull market than it did in 2019. But let's look one layer deeper and what we're going to find is that there are several trends that are repeating themselves. Number one, the cycle of rallies is such that the rallies take less time and they get bigger on each leg of the bull market. Let me say that again, because that's actually two different trends. Number one, the rallies get shorter, and number two, the rallies get bigger. But you also have to keep in mind that the rallies are getting smaller by percentage gains. They're getting larger by dollar gains, but they're getting smaller by percentage gains. So really, it's actually three different trends, all three of which line up with the 2019 bull market, and with a lot of bull markets, actually. The interesting thing about this is that the last bull market ended after the third leg up. Right now, Bitcoin finds itself on the third leg up. So let's take a look at that. So again, Bitcoin rallies about 70% here. Rallies about 74% here. Rallies about 80% here. In this instance, we see about 200% growth. Then we see about 100% growth. Now we would expect, based on the trend in this rally, that we would probably see between 50 to 100% growth from here. That would leave us with a price target anywhere between $26,000 and about $35,000. I'm not really postulating that we can get a valid price target out of this. Make no mistake, that's not the point of what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get a price target here, although I do think this rally will end up resulting in between a $26,000 and a $35,000 Bitcoin. I'm not going to get any more specific than that. The point I'm making here, though, is that while I think Bitcoin has more upside potential, I do wonder how much longer this bull market can go on before we have a sustained period of correction. That's not to say there's anything wrong with the Bitcoin fundamentals. That's not to say that I'm not bullish on Bitcoin. That's not to say that I don't think Bitcoin's going to $100,000 in the next few years. But that is to say with absolute certainty that at some point, Bitcoin will stop this massive rally and it will consolidate. That's not me trying to kill the party. I think we're having a lot of fun right now, and it's definitely cool that this is happening at Christmas time. I'm just as excited as you guys are. But 
We want to be one step ahead of the eight ball. We want to understand where Bitcoin is going, not just tomorrow, but three to six months out if we possibly can so that we can be prepared for it. And I'm telling you guys, when Bitcoin goes on massive parabolic runs like this, it goes up and up and up and up and up. And then it goes parabolic towards the end. Actually, it's always parabolic. And then what happens? Well, eventually there is consolidation, there is correction. It's just it's just a fact of technical analysis, one that we have to heed. So in the same way that Bitcoin went on a massive parabolic run here in 2019, I think that's exactly what we are doing right now. We are going on another massive parabolic run, but that parabolic run will eventually result in sideways trading the same way that we saw here in September in 2019, the same way we saw after the parabolic run to $20,000, we saw consolidation, otherwise known as the 2018 bear market. And by the way, another analogous market to what we're seing right now is the run up from $67 to $1,200 in 2013. What did we see? We saw a prolonged period of consolidation. And let me be clear here. I showed consolidation in the form of bear markets in those examples, but I'm not talking about Bitcoin entering a massive bear market after $35,000. I think Bitcoin will run farther than that. But I do believe that for Bitcoin to go to those massive price targets that we have for the future, $100,000, dollars $300,000, it is a healthy thing and a necessary thing for Bitcoin to correct. And when it does that, it's going to give us the opportunity to buy back in lower because it likely will result in some pullback. I will say this one final time. I don't necessarily think that this is going to happen just yet. I think the hype cycle is going to keep going. I do think we're going to go higher. But following that, we need to be careful because we don't want to just assume that Bitcoin is always going to rally. Because if you look in the history of Bitcoin, it really looks like it rallies about 20% of the time and it's consolidating 80% of the time. We're in that 20% right now, but it won't last forever. So make sure you are prepared when Bitcoin does inevitably begin its next consolidation phase. I think you will be very happy that you were ready before it started. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap out this video. It's not the last video of the year because we will be back on the 28th. That'll be the next video that goes up. Will be 10 days from today, but we are taking the week of Christmas off. So unfortunately, this will be the last time that I talk into this camera or will it for a little while. We're taking camera gear up to Gatlinburg, so you guys might end up getting a cool video out of that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going on a trip to Gatlinburg. That was uh, the place where I was born, so. We're going to go up there, myself and several of the several of our staff and some friends. Have some good fun. It'll be good times. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy your Christmas. Make sure to enjoy this rally. It'll probably be just as crazy when I get back, to be honest with you. Um, I'm rambling. I kind of don't want to sign off, but I probably should. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We will be back stronger than ever. Don't get discouraged because we're gone for a little while. I will be active on social media on Instagram and Twitter. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to say one thing, and that is Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's, all that. But no, seriously, before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.